Hi there, everyone. My name is Nate Glubish. I'm the Minister of Service Alberta, and I'm joined here today by Mr. Cantillon, the CEO of the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services uh, Department. And I also have uh, my colleague Brad Rutherford, MLA for Leduc Beaumont, uh, who's also the Government of Alberta's military liaison. And uh, we're just here to talk a little bit about the Support Our Troops uh, program, uh, specifically the license plate, uh, the custom license plate that is available through Alberta registries. It's my understanding that over the last six years, about 45,000 of these plates have been sold and that has raised almost two and a half million dollars to support uh, military families uh, in Alberta and so Mr. Cantillon can you tell us a little bit about how important this program is and how successful it has been uh, in Alberta. Well thank you Minister. Um, the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare runs the Supporter Troops which is the official charitable cause of the Canadian Forces. So this amazing partnership which we've had with Service Alberta and the license plate has created that money that we put in a trust account and hand out to Amer uh, Canadian Forces families throughout Alberta whenever they have crises and challenges. So when you're looking at the plate, you're not just making a statement, but you're actually physically helping a family. Some great examples that we've worked with in your government is bringing in telemedicine for the families in Cold Lake, offsetting the, char the challenges for a family with a child with special needs requiring specialized equipment. We're able to use our charitable organization to take that money, put it in the hands of that family to alleviate their stress. So you are supporting the troops both figuratively with a great plate, but most significantly, your money is helping change those lives, Minister. It's well, a great program. That's awesome, and uh, you know, it, it, it's not just through this this uh, custom plate and this program that we are able to support uh, our troops, but you know. Uh, Brad, you've told me a little bit about uh, a number of things that you've come into contact with in your role as uh, the, the, the government liaison for the military families. Um, do you want to tell, me, tell, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what, what you brought to our, our uh, office's attention about uh, military families coming to, to Alberta who need access to health care cards? Right. And so part of my role as the military liaison is to go across the province and talk to families, talk to the soldiers, and try to get an idea of where there's issues. And as I've built those relationships over the last few months. Uh, one of the things coming up was that the 90-day waiver that is in place for, for military personnel who are transferring into the province wasn't being recognized at some of the registries or the registry wasn't communicating that properly to the members and their families as an option. Mm -hmm. So we came to your ministry uh, to ensure that there was a communication out to the registries to make sure that that waiver was being honoured uh, and that the military families knew it was an option to make sure that they get health care coverage immediately when they transfer here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great, and thanks again for all the work that you did to help raise awareness within my department and to help us get that done. I, you know, one of the things that I've really learned in this role is that it's important that we understand uh, what military families in Alberta go through every day, uh, and that's the best way that we can uh, take actions to support them. One of the ways that you can take action to support our troops is to grab uh, your very own uh, plate, uh, and uh, the way you can do that is to go to any Alberta registry location across the province and just let them know you want to support our troops. Uh, and they'll be able to help you out. Thank you very much.